Hello! I'm so glad you could join me today. If you're new to this channel, <clears throat> welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am making jam puffs. Now, I have two people that asked me to make them. I have um, Rashad Jackson and Kareem Bishop Lee. So guys, I will be making you some jam puffs today. Now, in order for me to make them, I need to make a puff pastry. Now, you know when you have your jam puffs, you have that little flaky crust that falls off as you're eating it that is so good. Well, that is what we have to make first. It's called a puff pastry. So let me get started and I will show you exactly how I put that together. The first thing I'm going to start with here is two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Now in here I have one teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to put that in there. I have one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put that in there. And I have here one teaspoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice is good to tighten the gluten in the flour, so I put that in there. And I have here half a teaspoon of but half a cup of butter. I'm gonna put that in there. And this is all the ingredients I need right now to make my flour dough. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up a little bit. And what I have here is a glass of cold water. So we're going to pour some water in here. We're not going to pour too much. We just pour a little bit at a time and mix it up till we get the texture that we want in here. You're going to have to use your hands for this. But right now, I'll just mix it up with this. And remember to always just pour a little bit at a time. You can always add. If you've missed and poured too much, you can add a little more flour. Now you're going to go in with your fingers, this is what it looks like here. You're going to go in with your fingers now and you're going to combine it all together. We're looking to make a nice soft dough. As long as your counter is nice and clean, you put it down on your counter and you just fold it. This is about good. This is what you're looking for. How you want your dough to look. You see it's nice and soft. Score it a little bit right here. I'm going to... And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And I'm going to let it stay there for about an hour. The thing about making puff pastry, guys, is that... It's not hard to do, but it's time consuming. So you put this in the refrigerator, and then you have to find yourself something else to do, do laundry, do whatever you want to do around the house, outside, until the hour is up. So now we're gonna make our butter. Our butter goes in the center of the pastry, and this is what is gonna make it puff up, okay? And, and we're gonna make some layers, so, um, I'm going to start by putting one cup of butter. You want your butter to be cold. This is unsalted butter. To beat this butter, I soften it up. I left it at room temperature for a few minutes to soften it up a little bit, but you don't want it to get too soft because then you won't be able to work with it because the butter has to be cold. So I have one cup of butter in there, and now I want half a cup of flour to put to my butter. Half a cup of flour. Half a cup of flour. Get that out of your way. 
And this is what I'm going to do to my butt and my flour. That's all I want in here right now. The butter is a little hard. So I have here some cut right paper. So what I'm going to do is take my butter and I'm going to rake all my butter out. Put my butter right there. All out of there. And now I'm going to flatten it down a little bit. Just flatten it out like that a little bit. And it burst the thing there. Okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put this in the refrigerator to harden. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for one hour. When one hour is up, I'm going to come back and show you the next process. So, one hour is up. So, I just took the dough out of the refrigerator. So, what I'm going to do here is my workspace. I'm going to put some flour. I'm going to put a little flour at the top. You don't want to put too much. And here I have my pin, my rolling pin. What I'm going to do... this out over here I'm making some flaps to put the to Fold the blood, butter in there. So I have my butter here. Butter has hardened. And here I put my butter like that. And now I'm going to bring over my flaps over here. You want to make sure the butter is covered completely. Put some more butter down. I mean, some more flour down. And the butter is hard. So, you're going to gently spread the butter out. My rolling pin is kind of small. I gotta get a bigger rolling pin. My rolling pin is small. guys I'm gonna make a fold right here and 
I'm going to dust my flour off. And I'm going to make another fold. Make that fold a little too. And I'm going to make another fold right here. Come over there. And I'm going to put a little more flour on my workspace. We're going to make two folds. All together, I'm going to be making six folds. So I'm going to do two folds. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for another hour. Two more folds, another hour, and then two more folds. So all together, it'll be six folds. So right now, and these folds make layers. They say they make thousands of layers for some reason. They say when you do all those folds, they make thousands of layers. So that's what we will be doing right now. You small. Okay. Beautiful. Now we're going to make another fold. There we go. Another fold. And this And if there's any part of it that is a little bit too soft, they think because you don't want the butter to leak through, you just put a little bit of flour on it like that. Okay? So now, I'm going to take this and put it back in the refrigerator for another hour. And then, I'll be right back. So this has been in the refrigerator for an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat the process that we did earlier. We don't need a lot of flour, we just need a little bit there. And now I'm just gonna repeat the process. And we're gonna give it another fold. And dust all the flour off. Put this back in the refrigerator and at this time I'm putting it in for 30 minutes instead of an hour you can you can let leave it in for up to eight hours however long you want to leave it in for but I'm just for purposes and to speed up a little bit I'm gonna leave this in for another 30 minutes and then I'll be back again so this is our full our full fold so we have two more folds and then that will be our last fold all right guys now we're coming up to our final stage here so for so now i'm going to put some more flour down not too much flour but just a little bit of flour i'm getting my pin again Are we going to roll this out? So this is our fifth fold there. So now I'm going to make this my sixth and final fold. So this is my six, my six fold here. Gotta make sure I have enough. We don't have enough flour to the bottom, guys. It it uh, rips your dough a little bit. But what you do is just put a little bit of flour on it to seal wherever it may have ripped. And this is oopsie, I ripped it a little bit just put a little bit of flour and you're good so this is my final my final uh, fold so I will put this back in the refrigerator and I will be back in half an hour alright guys 
so you see my dough has been sitting for a while and now let's make some jam puffs but before I make the jam puffs I want to cut it and show you what the inside look like so you can see the layers that we created look at that guys you see those layers those are layers that we created cut my pastry in half so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use half of the pastry and the other half we're gonna put in the refrigerator because you don't have to use if you don't need to use the whole thing right now you don't need to use the whole thing right now you can freeze it you can freeze half of it and whenever you feel it eating the jam puffs or meatloaf or something you just take part of it down and um, go ahead and do that get my oven hot before I put my jam puffs in there so let me go ahead and roll these out I just need a little bit of flour and I'm gonna roll this one out and just put this one away for now and we're making jam puffs guys finally after all this work we finally get to make our jam puffs do here I have my pastry so I am going to right now trim it up so we have all the sizes the same do same thing up here and I'm do the same thing right here very good now I'm going to make, I think this can make um, right here, and I'm going to cut this down in half. Okay guys, so I have four here. I'm going to take some. I, I made here some egg wash. If you're a person that don't like egg, instead of using an egg wash, you can use some water. You can make a water with a little bit of flour and make a paste. All right, now I'm gonna use egg. And I'm just gonna go around here like this. Do the same thing here. Final one here. This is going to help it to stick. Okay, let's move back on here. Then the next thing I'm going to do, remember, we're making jam puffs. This is strawberry jam. I'm going to take about one teaspoon and put here closer to the corner but not too close to the end because you don't want it spilling over when you you don't want it coming out when you're you have it in the oven so you can put what if you like a teaspoon is good you don't want to put too much there I think that's about good 
And now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take one, this end right here and fold it over like that. And just press it down. Then you can take this other end and do the same thing. You can do it with all of them and just press it down. same thing and press it down now, and then you take a fork and you seal it you just go around and you seal it that way your jam doesn't spill you just give it a seal and you do that for all of them That's good. Now I have my pan. And what I'm going to do is put some, I have some cut right paper. If you don't have this paper in your pan, you, you just grease your pan, just lightly grease your pan. Put some paper there. And then I'm going to put these on my pan. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Some of my egg wash that I have here and I'm just going to base the top okay I think that's about good so and then guys you take a little bit of sugar and just sprinkle a little bit of sugar at the top Our puff pastries are ready for the oven so I'll put them in the oven um, 20 to 25 minutes I'll come back and show you what they look like do like me for jam puffs you still have some more dough left over so what do you do with this dough so I'm gonna show you what to do with your dough you can put it away you can just put it to the bottom of the refrigerator if you think that you're gonna be using it in a couple days but if you don't think that you're going to be using it in a couple of days and you want to store it a little longer, you can store it in the freezer. So let's just roll this out and then put it in the fr and I'll show you how to do it. So let me go ahead and roll it out. So I have my roller here. I'm just going to cut this. And you're going to get your cut right paper. Just put this in the freezer. And whenever you need a puff pastry, whenever you need to make a jam puff, um, next time I will show you how to make meatloaf, meat pies, Bajan style. Okay guys, the jam puffs is out of the oven. Here they are. They look yummy, yummy, yummy. This one leaked a little bit. That's why you have to be careful when you press it down that it doesn't leak. But they look good. But they're a bit hot right now, so I can't do much to them. 
they have to sit and cool for a few minutes so as soon as they are cool I'm gonna come back and show you and test them for you okay guys jam puffs are all done so let me try one for you they look good now what is different here guys is you'll see like there are the greens on top of the jam puffs right here the brown sugar because it is better if you're gonna do this if you have white sugar it's better to do a white sugar because the grains are finer and they'll melt faster this one is brown sugar where the, the grains are a little coarser okay so that's why it didn't melt so that's that's all that is but let me try it and see oh look at all those flakes look see So let me taste that for you. It looks good. You heard that crunch? Boom! I just put it down and all the jelly is falling out. But it's good. And this is what you want. All these layers. And guys this is good this is really good and that's guys your jam puffs to make these jam puffs guys it is a little bit time consuming these took about three hours a little over three hours because you have to make your dough you have to put it in the refrigerator to set so if you want to make jam puffs so you want to do this for a party or something you can make it like a day in advance or maybe a week in advance leave it in the refrigerator until you're ready to to use it but this came out really good i'm really pleased with it and i hope you guys can make it and have fun i will be making next some uh, meat pies Barbados meat pies. I will be making those next in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for joining me. I had fun making these and I hope you have fun, especially if you have a, meat, a sweet tooth. Make your own jam, um, jam puffs. Until next time, bye-bye.